I have worked at the British Red Cross for over 11 years. I have been here for a year and a month. About four years now, just over. Just coming up to six years. 14 years. About four of us joined at the same time and everyone asked us what the environment was like. And I was like, everyone's really nice. And also lots of cake. People bring in cake, which is fantastic. We have a lot of young people that are coming in who are really enthusiastic. The Red Cross is a very well-known organisation, so I think it attracts some high-caliber individuals. Because it's a, a bigger and more established organisation, there are benefits that you might not otherwise get in another charity. There is a pension plan, there are all the childcare and health and sickness benefits that you may not get in, in a smaller charity. I think we do perpetuate that culture of ensuring that you do have an outside life. And I know that some people with children, there's a good relationship with their managers where they can leave a bit early or start earlier, so we're not necessarily stuck to the 9.30, 5.30. We try to focus on ensuring that people are happy and able to perform at their best because they're happy, because they do, they are seen as people rather than just, you know, instruments of work. The opportunity for development is, is like another place I've worked in really, I mean, you get the opportunity to see what other people are working on and to build your skills up in other areas that aren't directly related to you. You have all kinds of incredible opportunities to meet interesting people, to learn from interesting people, yeah, and that can be in the more sort of formal uh, sort of training sense or in really great leadership programmes. There's a lot of internal training courses that are run by the British Red Cross internally, so I've managed to get on quite a few of those, even basic things like Excel courses and things like that to help just develop your basic skills. Um, I've also done first aid courses and as a staff member there's a lot of opportunities to volunteer. I have stayed with the Red Cross because there's been such a range of opportunities available to me in the international development sector. Ba -do -ba -dum. <laughs> One of the best things, I would say, about working for the Red Cross is the people within it. I mean, that's our real strength. We've got such a heritage and such a culture and people know the amazing work that we do. It's, you can't help but feel a sense of pride. It's working for one of the largest global humanitarian organisations in the world. People are always really interested, actually, to hear about what we actually do. People are always really surprised to find out that we're actually primarily a national domestic organisation with international aspects and obviously there's international parts of the organisation like the ICRC and the International Federation. You get to work on some really meaty issues around you know, climate change, around health and um, social care. You feel like you're part of something. You don't really feel like you're coming to work. You, know, you feel like you belong here. You know? So I think what a great place to be and that's why I'm still here. It's you know that you're making a difference and you're making a really broad difference across the entire world. I think that's why you should win and also the cake and the nice people, but mostly, mostly the first bit, but also cake.